Good afternoon, Wahawks. It's Wednesday, May 29th, and today we're celebrating one of our favorite food items that is often enjoyed on an afternoon in May. That's right. They're the mainstay of backyard barbecues, the cash cow of fast food restaurants, and come in a million different varieties if we're being conservative. The smell of one cooking is enough to set our mouths to salivating and our stomachs to rumbling, and they've got an entire month dedicated just to them. It's the humble hamburger, and its history stretches back to some, some, some surprising and sometimes predictable beginnings. So hang tight and come with us as we discuss the history of the hamburger in celebration of Hamburger Month. So there's a strange fact about the most popular cut of meat out there today. It started out as garbage meat, waste that was produced in the process of cutting more desirable steak cuts. Eating hamburger used to mean that you couldn't afford a finer cut of meat. From there, it went on through largely unrecorded channels to become the most popular part of the backyard meal, the hamburger. It can now be found in thousands of different locations with variations that range from the amazing to the simply bizarre. Hamburger Month celebrates this humble meat that became a worldwide favorite. So how to celebrate Hamburger Month? Eat hamburgers all the time! Every lunch and dinner can be a hamburger, and with the thousands of variations, there's no reason to get bored. Share your favorites with your friends and neighbors and encourage others to share their favorites with you. Maybe even arrange a backyard celebration where people bring their favorite meats, mixtures, and condiments. Hamburger Month is a great time to indulge in your burger favorites and explore new variations. Now let's get to our brief but important announcements. Don't forget to stop by outside of the principal's office to find your name on the wall to make sure all of your activities are listed. If something is missing, see Mrs. Cooner. As the weather gets warmer, make sure that you are following the dress code here at WASH or you will have consequences. So make sure to check before you leave in the morning that you are following WASH rules. Be sure to email Mrs. Mozina or Mrs. Schumacher any photos you may have showcasing you and your friends at Washington Activities. We want to celebrate Photo Month by showing some great photos of you on WTV. The last day for turning in all your library materials is June 7th. This includes textbooks. Remember, the textbook must be scanned in in order to get it off of your account. So don't just put it in the classroom. Make sure that it gets checked in by one of your librarians before summer. And check out our Instagram at GWMS underscore library for information regarding summer library hours. Please check the lost and found for your stuff. And also make sure to keep the hallways tidy as you're cleaning out your lockers. The custodians are on the lookout for the cleanest hallways. We'd like to apologize for missing Elijah Brown's birthday last Friday. Elijah, happy belated birthday. We hope you enjoyed celebrating over the three-day weekend. And we'd like to wish a very happy birthday today to Arlena Edmond, Will Gamer, and Lucas McAdams. We hope you have an amazing day. And now to close with the tasty thought of the day. My idea of a balanced diet is a hamburger in each hand. Have, have a, a hamburger, hamburger today, today washed. washed.